everybody, it's Brandon again. So the other day I kind of went over uh, doing remote desktop from Chrome OS Flex by installing the Remina client through Linux. And today I'm just going to show you another way you can do it without uh, having to have Linux at all on this thing. And that's using a program called Chrome Remote Desktop. And so in order to set this up, first you're going to have to go over to the computer that you want to be able to access. And you're going to have to download Chrome Remote Desktop. Uh, if I can type and it's really base I mean I already have it all set up here maybe you don't even have to download anything maybe it's just a website but go over to the computer where you want to share your screen go to Chrome remote desktop website it'll make you install a little plugin and then then you'll be good to go and so now I'm here on the computer that has Chrome OS flex on it and you can see this is a Mac that I set up and so I'm going to click on it. Oh, you have to set up a little password. And here we are. I'm dialed into my Mac from Chrome, which is pretty cool. Uh, one thing I noticed, though, is it's kind of laggy. And I don't know if this is a Chrome remote desktop problem or if it's a Mac problem. Because any time I've tried to remote into my Mac, no matter what, it's been laggy. Not just with Chrome Remote Desktop, but using the Mac's built-in screen sharing and a, just any BNC client. Always kind of laggy. I've never had a smooth remote experience on a Mac. I haven't tried this on Windows yet or Linux. Maybe it's better going through those. But if you're in a bind and you need to connect to a uh, Mac, I mean it's usable. I wouldn't play a game like this or anything. So yeah, anyway, the whole thing was pretty easy to set up. The hardest setup was over on the Mac itself because you keep getting these pop-ups to allow this security thing and that security thing. And doing those used to be really fast when I could use a fingerprint scanner on that Mac, but um, since it's winter, my hands got like so cracked and dry that my fingerprint thing won't even recognize me anymore. <laughs> so. Anyway, that has nothing to do with what we're talking about. But yeah, so if you don't want to go through the whole Linux thing and you still need remote access, Chrome Remote Desktop is another way to go. I might try it using Windows or Linux as a host on another video just because it might run a little better. Like I said, no matter what remote solution I've tried with this Mac, it's always been slow. And it's not just this Mac. It's I've had other Mac computers too, and it's always been the same problem. But this could also be a Chrome problem. If you've used Chrome Remote Desktop before, you can say what your experience has been in the comments. But yeah, so here's another solution, and obviously an easier solution. And if you can avoid going through the whole Linux thing, that's probably for the best. So let me know what you think in the comments. I'd appreciate it if you liked the video and subscribed to the channel. And if there's more you want to see about Chrome OS or anything else, just let me know and I'll get to it. But until next time, thank you for watching and have a good day.